Hi, I'm Kami Shamas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about the first day of October. Today it's Saturday, the 1st of October. The moon is in Sagittarius. It's a beautiful day if you're Sagittarius, Aries, if you're Leo, also if you're uh, Aquarius and if you are uh, Libra. How's it going to be for all signs, starting with Aries? Definitely, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day. It's totally inspiring and totally empowering. There is no question about your success. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. Go ahead and uh, amaze us. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 24th, 25th of March. Moving to Taurus, Taurus, I think today is a nice day. It's going to be a long day. You have things to settle down. You have things to check out. You have things to follow up with. And I think you can do a lot, but because it's a long day, you have to be organized and you have to prioritize. Moving to Gemini, Gemini, this is, um, this day can be challenging. It's the moon, which is in, uh, in Sagittarius, that may challenge your talents, that may challenge your ideas, your projects, your expectations. And with Mars, which is in your side and opposes this moon, there can be some kind of uh, strong or powerful or aggressive reactions. So you have to discipline that. You have to stay in control and not your emotions. Otherwise, you may cause... Um, some stress uh, to yourself and to people around you. Be extra careful if you were born between the 10th and the 12th of June. Cancer, this is a long, long, long day. It's a never ending day and things are on top of each other. They may actually um, coincide and you may have to multitask and you may have to run here and there and you may get a little bit upset. You may get a little bit overwhelmed and you may feel a little bit anxious. I think you need to organize your day uh, better. It's a Saturday. You don't want to feel that bad on a Saturday. It's supposed to be a day to relax. So try to relax. It's a long, long day. Be careful. Let's move now to Leo. I love this day for Leo. It seems that um, Leo today is very strong, is very uh, uh, influenced. Uh, positively influenced and empowered. This is a great day where you seem to know what to do and you seem to give the best that you can. This is a beautiful day. It's very impressive. You're very impressive. You can do anything you want. And the sky is the limit. The moon, which is in Sagittarius, and the planet Jupiter, which is in Aries with your sign, there's a grand trine, a beautiful one of the best grand trines ever. So go ahead and do whatever you like. Just plan it ahead. Moving to Virgo. Virgo, this is a day that seems to be suitable, favorable, and good enough to stay at home or to be with nice people or uh, people you love, familiar people, familiar faces, or maybe you just want to stay home and enjoy a nice movie to be on your own, organize something at home. It can be anything. It's the moon, which is in the fourth house, may um, make you feel a little bit nostalgic and you may want or wish to be with people you really like. You may feel like um, uh, you want to brood, you know, you want to feel sorry for yourself. Don't do that. Just enjoy this beautiful day. Uh, think positive. Uh, watch a nice movie. Be with nice people and don't get gloomy. There is no point to do that. Not at all. Enjoy your beautiful day cook something, dance, uh, light, light a candle, nice scents, um, cook your uh, comfort food. That will make you feel good, okay? Let's move now to Libra. It's a very fast day. It's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day. It's very, very fast and it's full of action. It's one of those days where Libras um, cannot be contained. They're everywhere. They spread themselves so much. And this may lead to the depletion of their energy. So at the end of the day, you just uh, you just fall asleep. You drop asleep. So it depends what you want to do. Uh, you can enjoy it. Uh, just pay attention. You don't want to be too fast. You don't want to be too hasty. You don't want to precipitate into actions or decisions. Uh, just think before you act. A beautiful, gorgeous day. Especially if you were born between the 20... Um, 
between the 23rd and the 25th of September. Okay, let's move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a day that will uh, actually put you to think, think and think about money, about your finances. Are you doing fine? Are you happy? Uh, do I have to pay someone? Is someone calling me to pay him or her? It's about money. It's about how much you have. Sometimes it's about um, thinking about yourself. It's you start thinking how many times all of us, we just think and think, where are we now? Where were we? Where are we going? It's something like that. It's kind of nostalgic. It's kind of not very positive. It's because the sun is in Libra, which makes us brood a little. And Scorpios, they can be gloomy sometimes. So you have to be careful. Don't drown yourself in self-pity. Okay, let's move now to Sagittarius with the moon in your sign. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, encouragement, motivation for Sagittarians. It's a green light for you to turn things upside down to your favor. You can do anything you want. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. It's a beautiful, um, inspiring day that may lead you to start things over, to turn things around and start things from zero. You don't mind, you don't care. You just want to do things the way you want because you feel so self-confident. You can do anything you want and most probably you'll get fast answers. Like if you apply for something, if you do something, you will get the answer immediately. Go ahead and um, wrap things up. Everything pending, you can do it and you can wrap things up. This is the whole point today. Let's move now to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, today is one of the least lucky days. It's a, it's very, very uh, exhausting and it's useless. It's ungrateful. I'm talking astrologically. It depends what you have. But if you have something very important, you have to double check on everything. Double check on everything. Don't believe in anything. If you have an appointment, you have to go earlier. Don't risk it. Like if you usually leave your house one hour before, maybe you have to go leave your house um, one and a half hours before. You don't want um, surprises on your way. If you have anything, if you have exams, if you have meetings, you have to make sure that you're ready and you're not sleepy, okay? This is not a very nice day uh, for making decisions. Uh, you may be um, a little bit confused, although you don't know it. You may feel as if you know things, but actually um, you get things all confused. So, and the results will appear. Uh, when you get the results, you will know that, oh, you didn't pay attention to that. How come two plus two? Uh, is five how come you know so read well and then answer well be careful okay moving now to Aquarius Aquarius um, finally there is some great news finally the there's a turn of luck it seems luck seems to be knocking on your door today is a good day it seems that you love what you're doing it seems that you know what you're doing and it seems that things are actually finally cheering up uh clearing up you think you can do things and i think you can you're not on your own um many people around you many people will help you many people will actually um encourage you I'm talking like this because I feel that Aquarians have missed so many opportunities lately because it was not that like, that wonderful maybe. So today is one of those very fast, active, positively active days and you can do a lot today. Go ahead. You need to help yourself if you were born on the 8th or 9th of February because that Saturn, Saturn has been there for some long time. 8th and 9th of February, you need help and today you can get this help. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, today is one of those days when you find yourself just out of the blue in front of a camera, let's say, or maybe under the spotlights, or someone is asking you something and you feel flattered. Oh, me? Yes, you. So today is uh, it's a nice day, although it can be stressful. You may feel as if you're tired, as if you're fe you feel as if you're anxious, and you don't know why maybe it's because the moon is in uh, was in sagittarius since yesterday in the highest point in your sky squaring your sign so it can be a tense day probably it is something very important that you have to do and i hope you're ready because if you're not ready 
maybe it gives you more anxiety so what you have to do is make sure that you do your homework you should be watching this video a day before that's why i upload them a day before watch it prepare everything don't um leave your house in a hurry pack everything slowly take a deep breath and your chin up okay so basically this is all i wish you all a beautiful gorgeous day see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye